though. Yo, what up, what up? We're gonna let the room fill up real quick before we start our uh, Panama Seafood Live shenanigans. We're here, baby. Panama Summer Live Series. Today, it's all about Ceviche 101. That's right, baby. We got a bunch of Panama Seafood products in the house. And we got shrimp, we got tilapia, we got grouper, and we got cooked shrimp, we got raw shrimp. Yeah, you already know. We live right now. So, we're just gonna give it one second for the room, get a couple people in it. We only got three or four right now, so in a second, y'all gonna ask us y'all questions. And share, share, make <clears> sure you <throat> share, share, share. Yeah, that's right. Share. Make sure you share this, and so we're gonna make it happen. Let me get some gloves on. Comments on this? Not yet. What's up, everybody? We're here, Panama Summer Live Series. I'm with Chef Frankie, I'm Smiley Miami, and we're making ceviche today. That's right, we're making two different kinds of ceviche today. And I think we're gonna start out with my big dog, Smiley. And I think uh, he's making a ceviche on a torta, and it's a little more traditional than mine, I think, no? This is like, uh, I would say, like the Peruvian, like, go-to staple for their country and for Latinos everywhere. I mean, people love ceviche everywhere. Where, where are you from? I'm Puerto Rican Cuban. Puerto Rican Cuban. I'm Cuban Italian. Ooh, they but I still the like ceviche. Right yeah. There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I love I love making ceviche. I do it all the time. One of my favorites, I learned from a friend of mine named Chef Miriam that taught me a lot about what I know. Uh, she used to make it, she used to make like a uh, Ecuadorian ceviche. Ooh, which is like, you know, has ketchup and it has a couple of things and I think that, you know, in Ecuador, the traditional way might be with salsa de tomate and stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. but um, I don't do anything traditional. So today I'm definitely not doing a traditional Ecuadorian ceviche. I'm doing it my way, eh, the Miami way, Miami food way. Yeah. You know, the <laughs> and I'm definitely doing way. it my way too. Yo, but, shout out to Panama, you already know, with the gear. Yes. Panama Seafood, y'all ready? Let's get started. Let's go. Smiley, you're up. Okay. So what do we got, Smiley? I'm going to start with some Panama grouper baby that's right what, what's uh what's in there so this is lemon and lime salt and pepper okay cool how long do we have to leave it in there i th i leave it in there for at least 25 30 minutes yeah nice aggressive amount of salt you know a little lime juice lime juice that's to right. get it started and approximately we... 10 limes yeah about 10 limes that's good that's good and then you'll take some of the shrimp cool we're gonna share the shrimp. We definitely have uh, plenty more than enough, uh, but I think I put too much for myself, so. Si tu quieres, So what we're doing now, we're using these mixing bowls and we're just mixing everything together, all your ingredients, and we'll show you exactly what they are. One thing that Smiley is using is, uh, what, what kind of peppers are these, bro? Limo. They're limo peppers. Limo peppers from Peru. Nice, Peruvian pepper, look how bright they are. They smell very fragrant, and I'm pretty sure if you take a bite of it, uh, it's gonna burn yeah. you a little bit. So I take the seeds out. Okay, that softens it up a little and bit. And I rub the pot with this. Okay, cool. Where'd you learn that, bro? Because I never done that. Standing in line at a most supermarket, and a guy told me, hey, Peruvian guy that looked like he knew what he was talking about. And I did it, and I never stopped doing it ever since. Is that the only spice you put in your ceviche? Mine, yes. And I also cut this up as well, and I put some in there. Nice. So really good pepper. It's not too hot. It's very fragrant. Cool. Wow, smells very good. Mira, you got your stuff right here. Just, you know, organize okay. it for you right quick. Cool. Some pepper. I just take a little bit. I put it in there. Shout out to everybody tuning in right now. A Kitchen, what's up, baby? We taking flight. Shout out to everybody. Share, share, share. Yo, so check it out. I'm going to ask a couple of questions that we got from the viewers. Uh, from last time and everything. Cebolla. So we got red pepper, um, I'm sorry, red onions. We'll get like a half, one half of red onion for this recipe. Uh, so one question is, is it safe to make ceviche from frozen seafood? And I say absolutely. As long as you defrost the raw shrimp correctly. What's that? That's some celery? Celery. So you got some diced celery going in next in Smiley's recipe. Uh, I'll give you the salt and pepper over here when you're ready to yes. salt up. In here we got ajo and ginger, just a little bit, just a half a teaspoon. Okay, so I, I, I'll answer the question for you, bro. Uh, is it safe to make ceviche using frozen seafood? And the answer is, it absolutely is. Um, right here we have the shrimp that's not cooked. You have to defrost this correctly, which is 
take it out of the pack, run it under cold water. If not, you can put it in the fridge overnight and let it defrost. Yo, <laughs> that's the way to go. You gotta be real liberal with the salt on this one, right? Uh, so yeah, or if you if you don't really know and you're scared or you're just not used to using raw shrimp, and what you have to do is blanch it. First of all, you boil it in hot water for a few minutes, maybe a minute, two minutes. Quick. Yeah, quick, bro, till it turns pink. How about this? I'll show you even better. You see this right here? You see this right here? When it's this color, that's when you know it's done. If you cook it too long, it gets rubbery. But if you don't know better, then use this one straight out the pack, and all you have to do is defrost correctly. All right, anything else went in there when I wasn't looking? No, nothing else, nothing else. But can you pass the red peppers? Yeah, absolutely. So we got some uh, diced red peppers over here. We'll use a little, uh, yeah. a little handful. Perfect. I'm perfect. using this one for my ceviche too. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you're gonna mix this together. This is super fast, super easy. I mean, my cousin Pepe doesn't even know how to cook. He makes this ceviche and it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's not a hard thing to do, but you know what it is, it's, it's, uh, it's all about the details. So the limes, you can't overly squeeze them when you have the little, let me see. If you have one of these right here, right, which we use here all the time, people tend to over squeeze and then the flavor from la cacara del limón, um, the flavor from the lemon or the lime, gets in and it's a little bit, uh, it's agria, it's, it's uh, I don't know, how do you say agria in English, bro? Sorry, I hardly speak Spanish, but I definitely... Uh, very sour. Very sour, it gets very sour and weird. If you squish it, uh, if you squish it lightly, then you get nothing but juice and your ceviche just tastes a little bit sweeter. You know, my ceviche actually takes a little bit of orange juice because I like it a little bit sweet. Hey, hold on one second, let me check something out. Okay. And we're still at it. We're still at it right here. Panama Seafood Summer Live. Shout out to everybody here logged on. This is my ceviche, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That looks good on a little tortilla. Little hot tortilla. You just put it in the, uh, what, what is it? It's an enchilada, no? What, what is that called? It's a tostada. It's a tostada, a tostada de maíz. Super good. Yellow corn. Very good. Very healthy. And it goes great with... The ceviche, man. Hell yeah. I actually, in Mexico, I was just telling them a story that in Mexico... Now, hold on. Something happening with the... Uh, I'm going to put this here for you guys. I, th I think it's still going. It's just... Uh, no, it's, it's, it's not connected, Stop. though. Yeah. Super good. Super easy. You guys got to make this at home. Panama Seafood is your go-to for ceviche, baby. Definitely Panama Seafood. I use Panama Seafood cooked shrimp and grouper. So... All right, now we're gonna start with. Actually, you know what? Let's an, let's answer a couple of questions. You yeah. know, let's leave that. Come here. Give me that plate right there. We'll put it right on top of here so the guys can see it, bro. And I don't know what's wrong with the Instagram, but it's true. It's okay. We'll go ahead on, on on Facebook. Let's put this here. Wow, mamacita. And this, cause I'm fancy. Yeah, look at that. Wow. The flick of the wrist. Wow. Okay, so questions. Okay, questions. Uh, first three, Frankie, let them know. Do you have to cook shrimp for ceviche or is lime juice in a Okay, grab that yeah. one right there, though, and just, I don't know what, what, yeah. uh, what the problem is, but it's trimming. You know what? End it, end it and get right back on it. Uh, so the question is. What is that? All right. So the question is do you have to cook shrimp for ceviche or is lime juice enough? I say, if you have the time to do it with the raw shrimp, it'll be it'll be fine. You just need to leave it in the shrimp for a long amount of time until you notice that the the shrimp is cooked. You know, it could be a few hours at least. Um, when it's with fish, in a few minutes, this grouper this grouper was done. You know, we must have put it in half an hour ago. Half an hour ago. Twenty minutes, and it should be done. Corvina grouper, snapper, all that stuff. Any white fish is gonna pretty much uh, do its thing quickly, uh, and then. You, if it's raw and you just want to do it quicker, you have to cook it. So you get the raw shrimp, Panama Seafood 1620 raw shrimps, and you boil them, which we call po uh, like blanching. Blanching. You know, you just boil them for a minute and Quick. a half, maybe a minute, minute and a half until you're comfortable, and you pull them out. So you don't have to cook it. There's definitely different ways to do all this stuff. And let me see. I what? like that way better. You know what? Because I, I like to use the the. The skin of the shrimp for broth. Like yeah, yeah, of course, to make stock. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, next question. 
What do you recommend to make ceviche spicy? Woo. And I'll tell you, I haven't made mine yet, but you'll see the finishing touches on mine take. This is actually sriracha powder, is my favorite. But you can use cayenne pepper, you can use limo peppers, you can use jalapenos, you can use cayenne, you can use habaneros. It depends what level of spice you like. I like spicy, I like using habanero, I like sriracha powder. Uh, sriracha powder gives it a little sweetness mm -hmm. uh, and spicy. So, you know, I think you can use anything. All right, so let, let, let's get on to my ceviche now. So look, what we're gonna do, put yours right here. And we'll put that so they can see yours the whole time. And then my ceviche is pretty easy. Hey, hold up. My ceviche is pretty easy. So we go, we're gonna use the shrimp, these are nice pile of shrimp, and we're using these same, these same shrimp right here, the cooked ones. Shout out to everybody on right now. Gloria, Vinny, shout out to Marilyn. So we got, I'm gonna pile up the shrimp in the plate and then I'm gonna mix everything in the bowl so we can all get that good uh, that good lemon flavor. Let me do something real quick. And if so, you can smell back here, it smells amazing. Super good, super fresh, everything is fresh. So in my bowl, I'm going, Sorry about that. Red onion. I'm gonna do some chopped cilantro. Woo! I'm going with tomate, little chunky tomatoes. And then in here, we have two different kind of peppers. I have green peppers and a pepper that I like because it's a little bit sweet called Cubanello. Uh, That's like a, um, a, a, would you say like more of a Latin style pepper? Like I mean, it's called Cuban. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it, I think it's a little more Latino. Sure. And the thing is that, uh, so I shop for everything at Sedanos yeah. uh, because that's where they carry the most amount of Panama seafoods, yeah. at least in my area. Shout out to them. Yeah, shout out to Sedanos, shout out to Panama seafood. So in Sedanos, they have a lot of good, like, you know, Latin type of peppers yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that that you won't get, you know, in middle America much. Uh, but shout out to everybody out there. You need to write a letter. Say so you need Panamay, yeah. and you need uh, ask for it. Ask for it right now. So after the peppers, the green peppers and the, and the Cubanellos, we got some red peppers going right in. This recipe actually is super easy, and you can even make this into a conch salad if you wanted to. You can make any kind of ceviche, including fish, shrimp, and whatever you want. Scallop ceviche for you know for all I know, and you just pretty much mix it up. We're gonna add. And this one, we're gonna add a little bit of orange juice. First on. squeezed orange juice. Yeah, I wanna say like maybe half and half. Maybe one part lemon, uh, one part lime, one part OJ. Woo! And what that rico. does, all that does is just sweeten it up a little bit. We're gonna go maybe four ounces, one cup, about, you know, each. Boom, a little salt pepper. And the juices are in there. The juices are flowing. Salsa. A little salt will bring out the little saucido from the peppers and the limon, you know, it just gets everything married, bro. Now everything Woo. is, they're, ma they're making friends right now. The whole bowl is just making friends Están right bailando now. salsa, baby. Bailando salsa, loco. <laughs> okay, and then look, right at the end, Woo, I sriracha. hit that sriracha powder. What other stuff can you use? What, what was the other spice you were You can use cayenne pepper, it's a little more traditional, but cayenne pepper, you don't feel it right at first, but when it gets to the back of your throat, boom. Whoa. Yeah, this is a little more integrated. It's a little sweeter. It gives it a little bit of color. And then, so since we're making uh, Ecuadorian style Whoa. ceviche, my version of Ecuadorian style ceviche, because everybody does it Don't different. get mad. This is his version. <laughs> my version. Don't get mad. Shout out to Chef Muriel who taught me. <laughs> and then I still changed it on her. So, Mira, I'm going to put about, I'm going to wait one, two, three, Woo. four tablespoons. Of ketchup, oh, and then we're gonna stir this up. I'm gonna do it with my hands because that went to familia, got the gloves on and everything. So, those of you on Instagram who might have missed out real quick, uh, we just put some sriracha powder and we put some ketchup in the ceviche. And I'm gonna go a couple more. Make sure you, you reach out to uh, panamate.com for more That's information, right. panamate.com, and you'll be able to get the recipes on there also, actually. So, all right. So I got all my ingredients in play already. Everything's in the bowl mixing. My suggestion is uh, leave it in the bowl. 20 minutes, 15 minutes. We're not going to do it here because, you know, movie magic is TV yeah. stuff, you know, uh, super big. TV but it's going to be great anyway. I already know that's going to be great. I know it's going to be great. I've been mean, this a million times. And then what I do 
is I just get the ball, I have my shrimp in the ball, right? So that one, my bad. I don't know what's going on. A, all my shrimp is in the ball, and what I do is I just pour it right on top. Woo! Wow, slow motion, slow motion. Slow motion. Yes! <laughs> so wow. Now, all I do is I finish with a little bit of cilantro por arriba. We got a fan going, so you know it goes everywhere, but. Woo! Un poquito de cilantro. Wow, que a little last salt and pepper. Oh my goodness. And there you go, that's that fire. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring it right here. Boom shakalaka. Why are you doing that? I'm gonna answer a question. It's from Christina from California. Is ceviche an appetizer or a main dish? I got I got an easy answer. Can I answer this one? Go ahead. I got an easy answer for this one. The difference between ceviche being an appetizer or a main dish. It's just the size of the bowl, baby. Exactly. <laughs> you want it to be a dinner, you just get yeah. a big bowl. If you want it to be an appetizer, you get a little bowl. Oh my God, I want to drink that liquid there. I, I love it, bro. Ooh, you have no man. idea, man. I've been making it for years. Thank you, Chef Miriam, for teaching me. Uh, all right. I, I said it all the time, and, and it's great. So all let's right. see, what else we got? Here we have, what fish do you recommend for ceviche? Claire. What do you like, bro? I like grouper. I like mahi mahi, I like grouper, I like snapper, I like anything. And you can use all those fishes for this. Simple right? simple answer is any white fish will pretty much do the job. Some are better than others. And it has a lot to do with preference and you know that's what cooking is all about. You could get a recipe from a recipe book and do it exactly, or you could do it totally different. I mean it's all it's all on you and that's what I love about cooking. Yeah, absolutely, you know? yeah. And the best thing is that Panama carries uh Mahi Mahi, they oh, yeah. carry sway, That's they right. carry grouper. Sway, sway, sway. 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 I, I mean, I Depending think. where you're from, because I sway. I sway. <laughs> sway. I'm a swayer. Sway. Hey. Hey. You already know, Panama Seafood, we're taking flight. It's That's all right. about the summer series live, baby. Right, baby. Ceviche 101, you've seen it right here. Our last question. Shout out to everybody there. Everybody, ¿qué tal los camarones? All right, so they have a question about los camarones. Okay. Dímelo de los camarones, what? Que, que tal camarones? All right, what type of camarones? Let's see. Any type of camarones you want, it's Panama up to you. Camarones. How quick do you want it? You want to make it do a little work? Then you get the raw camarones, and you blanch them for a little while. You Ooh. defrost them correctly. You blanch them for a little while, and you use them in your ceviche. Still let them soak so they can absorb some of that limon and some of that spice, you know? I mean, I'll put a little extra little spice on that oh, thing like this. So you're showing off now. I'm just, ah, I'm just flexing that. right now. I'm just flexing right now. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. And it says so, here, our last question. Miriam, can I make ceviche with lemon or orange instead of lime? Listen, anything. I'm, I, so I have something called ceviche tropical that I make with orange juice, Ooh. a little bit of lime, pineapples, Ooh, watermelons. Pineapples. Yes, I had a concept set it like that. Before. A little basil. Woo. You know what I mean? Man. So you can use lime, you can use orange juice, you can use both. I like using both. This one has both. The other side, let's see what else we got over Can you use... Guaca, uh, guacamole, guacamole for the sauce ceviche. for the ceviche. Of course, yes. aguacate. I wish aguacate. I had an aguacate. I, you know, that's kind of my false smiley because I yeah. was sit down. I was so excited about, yeah. you know, all these Panama you know products. Benta, benta, traemos un aguacate, cero. Un aguacate, <laughs> Of course, you can use aguacate. Yes, aguacate is good with everything. Is ceviche good for the next day? I mean. It, 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 I can't even answer the question because it never lasts that long in my no. house. <laughs> it never how about does. This? It never if does. If you made a ceviche and it lasts the next day, you need to make it better next time. Yes. But how about that? That's and you know, it, the, the, the thing about it is that the lime juice cooks the shrimp and it cooks the fish. So it's Technically, cooked. Yeah. it's cooked and it should be fine the next day, but I think it never tastes as good unless it's fresh. So like making pasta. Yeah. Next day. I, I won't touch Red sauce well, with the Italians called gravy, spaghetti sauce, marinara, yeah. whatever you want to call it. I won't touch it for, for 24 hours. Yeah. I don't even want to eat it the same day. Yeah. You know, but uh, this is a little bit different. This is kind of like traditionally it's made on the spot and you eat it on the spot. And I think it's always going to be better on the spot. So, yeah, that's the answer to that one. Definitely. What's our time looking like? Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. We got three more minutes. Can you use a type of wine? I mean, I've never I, used I like it. to gargle my wine before I eat ceviche. Just to get that flavor in there? I mean, yo, listen, I, I think white wine has the same effect. I think you just need to, if you're gonna use white wine, you just need uh, to balance it out with something else, you know? Yeah. So if you're using a white wine, you might wanna make a ceviche with some fruits. Uh, 
Because you know ideas, white wine goes good with fruits yep. and, and and that whole deal. You know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. So you you, you want to get a couple of spoons? You want uh, to try this? Yeah, it? absolutely. All right, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, he's super entertaining. Don't mind. I'll be on in two seconds. You got a ball I can juggle. <laughs> Check it out. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me see your questions right now. Drop them right here. Drop your questions. Drop your questions. We're live on Facebook and Instagram. We're here, baby, taking over the Instagram. Ceviche 101. I'm Smiley Miami. I'm with celebrity chef Frankie. Deliciosa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to everybody, everybody online. Okay, okay. Maria. I love Lucy. Can we use? Yes, we are that. Is ceviche good? Absolutely. Ceviche Los good. camarones son right? buenos para ceviche también. Claro que sí. Claro que sí. Jose Juan King. Shout out to you. Alex Peña. I love Lucy. Maria. What's up, baby? Oh, yeah. Well, hold on. On the Facebook, it says, can you use a table van? Yes, you should use. If you're going to use wine, use white wine. Uh, and then from Ron Forrest, can you do grits, Yaya? Are you Yaya? Do they call no, you Yaya? No, I don't think so, but... Um, Yaya. No, they don't. I they don't know don't. who Yaya is, yeah, but yeah. I mean, I definitely make... Yaya uh, is what they call good-looking Spanish guy. Oh, maybe that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, no, I'm talking about yeah. you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely do some grits, and then yeah. you know what? And when I make grits, what I do is I make grits for breakfast Ooh. or for dinner. It doesn't even matter. I make it any time of the day. And then I use some Panama seafood. Ooh. To make shrimp and grits, I use Ooh. the raw one so I can make a stock, Ooh. and I make grits with the shrimp, and then I reduce shrimp stock. Oh, I think that should be the next show. It's like Nola style, New Orleans style. Ooh, I love New Orleans. Shout out to everybody from New Orleans. Oh, shout out to Nola. I want people to know And Panama Seafood, we're all over the place right now. We're in that's more right. markets every day. That's Make right. Make sure you ask your local supermarket to get on there right now. Yeah, that's right. And also, uh, they just got a few new states, uh, as far as what I heard. You can say it's, I don't know the states yet because they're keeping it But I think you can go secret. on PanamaSeafood.com. And they'll tell you right there. And if it's not your state, don't be mad. Just request it. Request it, request yeah, it. Don't talk to stop. your Sedanos. If you got Sedanos or any Latin food uh, in, in, in your area in the grocery stores, that's what you need to do. Saludos desde Puerto Rico, baby. Dímelo, mami. Oye, Puerto Rico, yes. what they do? Barrio Obrero. Piñones, piñones. Piñones, Barrio Obrero. Oh, well, we got another one. We got another one here. Another question. Last question. Last Looks question. Awesome. Just add me some totones and I'm good to ah. go. Now, I'll tell you something about that. That My dog Smiley right here, he got a good... He's a DJ, but he got a good uh, paladar. El paladar lo tiene... <laughs> but a fantastic and the first thing he told me was man for your ceviche you should have some totones <laughs> and I didn't listen uh, I didn't good, listen good, I should have listened and I'm sorry that's my fault okay next time I'm gonna make you some totones and some grits you already know man thank you guys for tuning in we love you we love you I can't wait till we're back here again we'll oh, see yeah. you soon every El Wednesday 4pm that's right every Wednesday Panama we'll we'll Seafood DJ Smiley Chef Frankie Cafe 72 y'all do sour Peace on y'all too, man. Run Forest. Run Forest. Magda. Kathy, I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dale. Let's go. Now it's time to eat. Heck yeah. <laughs>